Well, this is still fine. I mean, another thing that nabs do, if they have an expansion on top of you, they won't hit you until they get enough units. Or they'll just camp on their base with their moon walls. So this is why I'm focusing, trying to kill moon walls, because, uh, as you see, he has like five moon walls that are full of moon juice. If I, if I choose to fight him right here at his base, I would lose because of those moon walls. They're like greater healing pots. So once I see that he's at, he has some armor right now, um, unfortunately, since he killed my peasant at my gold mine, at his gold mine at expansion on top, I'm forced to mess Telly at my expansion and just run to the top expansion as fast as possible and, you know, uh, get to the expansion before it goes up. And while I'm this right here, I'm, I'm assuming that he thinks I have no mana on my Arc Mage or no TP on my Arc Mage, and he uses his Metamorphosis uh, versus me right here. Uh, which I don't think was a good idea because that wasn't going to be the last fight. When he pauses his metamorphosis or, or his panda uh, at the same time, even if it's not at the same time, you have to just you just run away. You can't fight it, especially in this situation. Oh, so after he came to the gold mine, uh, you know, I had a, I left the peasant. At the right side, like I said, at the right side of his base, I mass tallied back to that, and then I was able to pick off another moonwall and almost kill another moonwall. But that time, I accidentally summoned a water elemental, and I didn't have enough mana to mass tally, so I was forced to use my real teleportation, my teleportation scroll. Um, like I know these games, this game is gonna be exactly like yours, but you, uh, hopefully, you get an idea of how to beat a night of uh, early game and. Uh, I've actually had a few games like this versus Night Elf. It's pretty much because it's down to mortar base racing in Mass Telly, and uh, you know who can get that little bit of extra gold to get that you know extra unit to have uh, the best outcome in the, in the last fight. So once he pops his uh, once he pops his um, ultimate right here, he doesn't have his panda. He doesn't have. He can't use his items in his panda. So I'm like, okay, why did he do that? That's pretty dumb. He doesn't have memory assist. He doesn't have staff because he uses ultimate on his panda, so I'm just gonna focus the demon on as much as I can with my level five mountain king. And he doesn't mana, mana burn me right here. Don't know why. And then I get level six, and it's pretty much over. I mean, I just got level six on my mountain king. I use, I pop my mana pot. I go avatar, which is just as bad as metamorphosis, even better. Um. Pretty much just it's over. Just just focus the panda ultimate one by one. And you'll eventually kill him. And here comes the level three bolt of doom. Shaboom! You get raped. And he said GG. This isn't a flame versus lyle, but I was searching for a game to do an audio on for the longest freaking time. I've been getting a lot of messages from people asking me when my next audio is going to come out and hopefully this audio was good for all of you um so let's re recap on a couple things secret valley human versus night elf you creep your yellow you go to your green to get level two by the time you get to your gold mine it's going to be nighttime you can summon your water elemental your water elemental in a good spot you can creep that pretty well um in the middle of your creeping, like, like I did, even if you're not done with it, you know, you have to send your Archmage to that shop. It's the most important thing, you getting that expansion up. If you're versing a good Night Elf, that's what you have to do. If you don't get Boots and Dust, you will lose your expansion, or even worse, you won't even get up the, you won't even, like, attempt to build the expansion, because he's just gonna hide little tiny bag archers around your gold mine, you can't do anything about it. So, you know, in the middle of in the middle of creeping your gold mine, this goes for most maps, especially on Secret Valley, though, because, you know, there's only two two starting locations, he's going to know if you're expanding or not. You have to get dust and, boot, dust and boots. Um, after that, once you get your three towers up, I mean, if you're putting the harass on him, then he can't, he, he seriously can't be at your expansion because there's towers. He's eventually going to lose his hero if he loses his hero there, so what he's left to do is just pretty much chase your army around the map. Uh... Yeah, and since he did expand, I mean, it kind of worked out in my favor too because, uh, you know, once Nanof expands, he's, he's not going to have APs there, obviously. And, um, you know, just keep tabs on him. If he, if he builds an expansion, then it harasses his expansion. This, this keeps him from creeping. Uh, you want to do sort of like a counter creep, 
counter creep, uh, counter harass thing like I did there. You know, go to his main, make him go to his main. Then you send your foe into his expansion. Uh, you know, just keep going back and forth, make him make mistakes. K kill his shop in the middle. Um, pretty much just target target wisps that are, uh, that are outside of his main, and then he has to chase your archmage. Then you send foe in maybe around the other side of his choke to get into his main and kill wisps. Uh, you know, just think of creative ways to harass well as human player. I know it's kind of hard because human players don't really harass that much, but um, well, obviously when you get your expansion up, you uh, you harass a lot. But you know, humans aren't known as the harassing race. Uh, so that was the audio. Um, hopefully, I wasn't didn't sound too excited about the audio since I haven't done one in a while. The last one I did was with Lotto. It was the dual audio. I hope you guys liked it. Um. I wanted to answer a question some kid. I don't remember what the dude's name was. It was on WCR. He posted a comment. There were some flavors in some of my other audios that people were complaining about. Um, they asked me why do I spam so much? And why this and that? And why do I have bad players? And why do I suck? And blah, blah, blah. And I really don't care what you say. But he asked me what was my hotkeys? What did I use for hotkeys? Um... I don't think I'm a dumb player in this game. I don't think that I slack off in this game. I try my best in pretty much most of the games that I play. Um, I try and use all my advantages as I can as a player, which is using hockeys. And, um, you know, I did play StarCraft since I was nine years old. I played it, obviously, when I was so young, I didn't really care about winning, but I played it probably competitively, competitively for maybe two years on and off, and you know that game requires you to have a insane amount of APM. And my APM in that game was probably like you know 250 to 280 average, which you know I was blessed to have that APM to go to StarCraft to Warcraft. Um, you would think how can you have that much APM in Warcraft? Well, I'll tell you all my hockeys because that was the kid's question in the comment. Uh, this is my hockey's. I use all my hockey's one through zero. I know every single hockey as a human race. I know every single hockey at a mercenary camp. I know every single hockey at a uh, a goblin merchant. I know every single hockey in the game as human, and I know every single hockey as an item. And I use all of them. And I maybe maybe I press maybe I press it twice or three times. That's probably where my spam comes from. And I always re hockey everything. That's also where my spam comes from. But um, you know. If you want to keep tabs on everything, you want to be a fast player, you really have to keep tabs on everything that you have, and that's just that's just the way. Like, I'm not the one that puts you know 350 APM or 250 APM in the APM checker, and I'm not the one saying haha, you have lower APM than me. That's not me. If I could choose to show how my APM shows in the APM checker, I would make it be 100 or so people would stop flaming. Because I swear, in this game, if your APM is like above 150, everyone bitches at you and says you suck because you just spam. I think it's so stupid. But yeah, here you go, idiot, who asked what my hockeys are. One is my town hall, two is my racks and workshops, three is my arcane sanctums and griffinaries, four through six is my army, um, four is all my heroes, oh, this is my army section, four through six, four is all my heroes and attacking units, five is casters, six is maybe tanks and gyros. Uh, if I have more attacking units that's going five, I pretty much just switch it up, I go... All my attacking units on four and five, and I put my casters on six, and then maybe I'll put my gyros on seven. But that that doesn't happen very often. So my attacking units are on four with my heroes. I use my F1 through F3 keys to control my heroes separately. Uh, my casters are on five and six is my gyros. And for seven, I use wood peasants. Eight, I use blacksmith. Nine is my arcane tower. Zero is my altar. Nine is my arcane tower, obviously to attack the heroes to take their mana. And yeah, that's my, uh, that is my Warcraft hockeys, whoever asked, and whoever complained and called me a noob because my APM is higher than his, and he's jealous. Uh, hope you guys like this audio, um, hopefully I gave enough information for you guys to learn how to beat Night Elf when I go with Demon Hunter Panda, uh, you know, capitalize on their mistakes, uh, when they don't, another thing I forgot to mention: if they don't have a naga, you can harass a lot better, obviously. But you just have to keep moving your. If you keep, you have to keep moving your footman over and over again, not get that panda to replay your footman. Um. So yeah, this is Priest from WC Replays. You guys have a good one, and I'm out. See ya.